Japanese folklore is full of strange creatures and myths. The most common creature found within these legends are referred to as yokai, which does not narrow anything down because the term yokai actually refers to a host of different supernatural, demon, and spirit beings. Keeping that in mind, we will now take a look at some of the different types of yokai that appear throughout Japanese folklore, and I apologize now if I pronounce anything incorrectly. The Kappa is an ancient yokai that is known as the River Child. The easiest way to describe a Kappa is that of a giant bipedal turtle with a bowl-shaped head. Like most folk tales, the idea of the Kappa was to warn children to stay away from water without a parent or guardian. The legends generally show the Kappa to be one of the many mischievous yokai, but certain legends also discuss them kidnapping and assaulting women. The Kappa weren't always evil, however. If you should meet one on the road and bow to it, the Kappa would bow back, as they were considered to be very polite and honorable. This was the way to defeat the Kappa. The water which was kept in its bowl-shaped head was its life force. If it bowed and the water fell out, the Kappa would weaken and die. If a passerby should take pity on the yokai and refill its bowl, the Kappa would forever be in their debt. One of their few weaknesses is also the cucumber for some reason. If you have a cucumber to offer them, they will allow you to pass unhindered. Families would also put cucumbers in the river as offerings to these strange creatures. The Kitsune were considered the mischievous fox gods and could be both good and evil, depending on the individual Kitsune. Kitsune share many similarities with the Native American folklore in that they also have the ability to shapeshift into human form and possess others. It is believed that the Kitsune possess powerful magic and are worshipped in several shrines throughout Japan. The Kitsune are also believed to live very long lives, and the older they grow, the more tales they will possess. Should the Kitsune receive its ninth tail, it is transformed into a heavenly fox. These creatures were not always looked upon favorably, though. During the Edo period, they were considered the creatures of witches and ogres. Both an actual animal and a yokai, the tanuki was another animal that was considered a trickster with powerful magic. Today, they are seen as a sign of good luck, while in the ancient folklore, they were shapeshifters who had the ability to stretch their scrotums for various uses. We're just gonna go ahead and move on to the next one before too many questions start coming up. The Tengu was a term used for many yokai who were considered the enemies of Buddhism. In appearance, they were almost a human-bird hybrid with a long nose and were known to be ill omens of war. Legends would have them kidnap priests or possess women in order to seduce them, leading them away from their holy lives. While once an enemy of Buddhism, this creature has now become known as a guardian spirit of the forests, mountains, and rivers of Japan. Far more terrifying than even the mighty Shelob is the Jurugumo. Legends state that if an orb weaver spider, of which there are over 3,500 worldwide, reach 400 years old, they will transform into a Jurugumo. This yokai grows to a massive size and can shapeshift into a beautiful woman who lures their enemies away so that she can trap them in her web and eat them later. There are individual tales of the Jurugumo that have a disguised spider woman holding a covered baby which she asks men to hold. Once they do, it is revealed that the baby is in fact a large collection of spider eggs that hatch. Go outside, right now, and kill every spider you can find. We need to make sure none of them live to be 400 years old. More easily known as merely the sickle weasel, because they are weasels with sickles for hands and feet. This is a group of three yokai that ride around within a small whirlwind. Legends say that the first weasel knocks you over, the second cuts off your legs, and the third sews you up so that you don't bleed to death. This is all supposed to happen very quickly before you even realize it. Other legends state that the first weasel will knock you over, the second cuts you, but doesn't take your legs, while the third gives you some form of anesthetic. You won't even feel the pain of their cuts until the drug wears off much later. 
The Tsuchigumo is a demon-faced tiger with spider limbs. I'll let that sink in for a moment. Originally, the term Tsuchigumo was actually used as nothing more than an insult, but would evolve into a creature of nightmares. The Tsuchigumo lived deep within the mountains, where they would attack travelers and eat them. There is a legend that says a great warrior named Yorimitsu was traveling through the mountains when he was attacked by several yokai. After he defeated the spirits, he hunted the creatures to their lair, where he met a massive Tsuchigumo. He slew the beast with his katana, and from it spilled 1,990 skulls of all its victims it had trapped and eaten. So, there you have it, a few colorful and varied creatures that fall under the title of yokai within Japanese folklore. Of course, these are some of the more ancient creatures. While many modern cultures within the world have what we would refer to as urban legends, Japan still files theirs under the title of yokai. Thank you for watching this video, and if you want more of me, you can find me on Twitch at twitch.tv slash DanTStreamer, and if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a like, leave a comment, and subscribe to the channel for more myths, lore, and tales of Earth.